Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, and before I get into the review of the anime episode itself, there's something I think I, I, I may as well try and address, which is the fact that recently, from, from like chapter 259 of the manga, as you all know, the, 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 there's a character, in as those who have read the manga, there's a character in there called, who, who basically has, has, the, has the name of Maruto Shige, and apparently from there the controversy blew up. A whole bit of controversy blew up because apparently the name Maruta was was taken apparently unknowingly. What Horikoshi had done is he had taken apparently Horikoshi had taken the name Maruta from basically a program from from a program that 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 that, that had been going on in World War II on a, a program of human experimentation on on Japanese imperialist soldiers during World War II. That that's kind of that's kind of where it supposedly came from. And, yeah, from there, like, the, the, the whole internet, the whole world freaking blew up. And where, where Shonen Jump and even, and Korokoshi himself had to issue an apology. And, and from there, obviously, the, the whole thing is just blown up. Blown, blown completely up. And I'm probably going to have a bit of an unpopular opinion on this one. But the, the one thing we really need to understand is that there is a vast, a vast cultural difference between those in the East and us in the West. Like the, 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 the like the, 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 like the reason for for like the Jap for for, for the Japanese people and and the Chinese people in order to be, because I think yeah this was even banned in China because of this. But yeah the the reason for the Japanese and the Chinese to be angry about to 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 react to this is a little is. That the, there is a cultural difference, and they're going, and and they do have like cultural reasons, in order to react the the the, 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 the way they did with this, with 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 with, the, with that name, with the name Maruta, but we here in the West, I'm sorry to say, we have less of a reason to be angry about this. We really freaking do. Like, the the pretty much again, the pretty much only reason any anyone here in the West would have to be is because they're part part of this cancel culture bullshit whatever side you're on but really we don't know what happened during that time we really don't so and in that sense i guess you could say i have a little bit more sympathy for the way that uh, from japan reacted over how we in the west have reacted like honestly i'm sorry to say there is very little reason for us to get fucking there is very little reason in order for in order for us to get freaking uh, like i guess triggered by this like like Japan has has a lot more reason has a lot more reasons in order to like really really feel like a little bit has a little more reasons in order to feel a little bit uncomfortable with this than than we do we there that's just the case of it so but yeah um like I'm sorry but that's but that is kind of just the reality of it Japan just just has different different cultural values than we do and because of that. They're, they're going to react, their, their reaction to it is going to be vastly different than ours. So, yeah, sorry guys, I, I just needed to kind of get that out there. Because it, it, it did need to be addressed, and I, I know I'm pro I was probably going to get people asking me about that. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, 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 yes, in general, I'm just very more sympathetic towards, well, towards the, well, towards Japan's reaction, Japan's side of things on this, than I am here in the West. I really am. So, but yeah, um, with that, with that bit of drama out of the way, though, let's, let's focus on the episode itself. My Hero Academia, Season 4, Episode 17. So, to start right out of the gate, we get introduced to the idea that as, as new generations of Quirks users are born, so too are the volatility and uncontrollable nature of those Quirks to the point where it'll be, where it'll be hard to keep in order to keep th th these pretty much quirk users under control at all. So that in itself really shows that there is an inevitability of the government's control over quirks, over quirk society completely breaking at some point, completely breaking down at some point, which considering where the manga is now, we're not too far off from that becoming a reality. But when it does happen, it's going to be left up to Izuku, his friends, and pretty much like the hero the hero students as a whole in order to in order to find the answer of how the world can adapt to that eventuality without creating even more villains like well like 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 
shit, 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 Iraqi. Like the the one thing, the one thing that, that the one thing that needs to be that that we need to remember is that depending on how on how society adapts after this, after after this breakdown happens, it's really going to depend on how on how this new gen, on how the current generation of heroes are going to are going to adapt adapt to this. To, to this changing development in society and how and how honestly the, and how they themselves are going to are going to are going to be able to do it in a way that that doesn't create like another villain like from because that 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 that, that, that that is the one thing that that, that is going to happen with 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 more volatile situations like this is that the, the with with more volatile quirks also means that that, that the more the better the chance of, of villains popping up so there need so they need to find a way in order to prevent that from happening as less as possible. Um, and looking back on this particular part of the arc made me realize how clever this whole battle with the kids was resolved because on a base level, Todoroki, Bakugo, Kami, and Inasa are, are indeed using their quirks to play with the kids, as definitely seen when Todoroki used his powers to create that giant ice slide. But at the same time, what they're also doing is showing the kids what can be achieved by actually working and training to master, training master your quirk rather than just using it erratically. And and yeah, let, let's talk about the kid who was observing this whole time because in the in the end, Bakugo pretty much gave him the the advice he never even he never even got when his quirk first first manifested but even more than that i stand by what i said when i was reading reading this in the manga which is i want to see that kid as bakugo's sidekick in the future because it, it's it, it's definitely clear that, that, that from just that kid is is basically is part of the reason as, as to as to what really forced bakugo to like like really kind of like look at himself and and look how he can how he, he can teach how he ended up teaching these kids the lesson that that, that, from just, that they never could so yeah, I think that kid, honestly, he, he has quite the future as, as Bakugo's sidekick, honestly. Um, now, art and animation in this episode was interesting, because it started off okay, and w when we got to the scene of the students def the students deflecting the kids' quirks with their own, I got a little worried, because there was noticeably less detail in that moment than in the manga, but once we got to the scene with Todoroki's ice slide, that's where the quality took a huge jump, so... It's one of those times where the episode, where as the episode moves forward, moves up, moves forward, the art and animation does get better. Uh, also, getting back to the kid that's, that, that was observing this whole time, when Bakugo, that was observing this whole time, uh, when Bakugo pretty much tosses him onto the slide, that's actually a case where the anime did, did were, they, they really did do it better than the manga because Bones went with a much more went with a much more angelic take on his change of heart, and they even gave him a lot more facial detail, like, to just, just to really show that, like, like, how much, like, like him being included, like, was him being actually included changed him. Uh, on the flip side, though, one little detail I'm kind of iffy on is that, is that they cut out as, they cut, they cut out a funny scene of Bakugo destroying the slide with his explosions, but, uh, I guess, I guess it wasn't too big of a, thing but it was kind of just a funny scene i wish they had kept in um all right now let's now let's talk big the big thing to talk about in this chapter is the interaction between todoroki and endeavor after the test and how it essentially shows that while endeavor is changing and he's becoming a lot a lot better of a he's he's determined to become a lot better of a hero um it 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 also shows that Todoroki isn't is is basically still is still distrustful of his father because he's still very much distrustful of his father. Um, and honestly, he might the thing is he might never with Todoroki he might never get to a point where where he he can even trust his father again at all because what because the thing to really take away from, from just that one little scene is that there that starts what's going to be a continuous growing pattern of endeavor's character development but never 
never being able to cross this one this threshold with with Todoroki and where it goes from here like again it's handled in a way that initially is going to seem a little rocky to some depending on your depending on how you perceive it but in the end it's actually handled in a very realistic way realistic way in the end so yeah um now another so let's t so now another thing obviously is that f is what happens after it cuts back to ua and with that let's talk about ayama because when when i first read that chapter with him spying on izuku through the window i immediately went in the mode of assuming he was the spy and while i'm still kind of on that fence we do also get a much deeper dive into who Aoyama is as a character, and a lot of what I'm about to say is stuff I've already said from reading the manga, but when you really look at Aoyama's admission of how his quirk really is nothing more than a handicap to him, it shows us that all his grandstanding is really a means to hide the pain that he actually suffers from, from using his naval laser, and he thought he, and he thought he was all alone in that, but when Izuku came along, he felt like he had found his kindred spirit, but when Izuku, but so and and for the longest time he was happy because of that, but when Izuku started developing and mastering one for all, he felt alone and trapped again because Izuku, because unlike Izuku, there's because unlike Izuku, there, there's nothing if very little he can do in order to actually control his quirk, and as he said, the belt itself is little more than a cast in order to in order to cast in order to contain his power and the one thing i also stand by with this reveal is that if he's not the spy then it very much sounds like a death flag being placed on him but we'll we'll have to see because because honestly if now now having said that all that i will say that that pretty much with the that with the with with, with this episode it was also nice to see how uh it's also nice to see how, how pretty much how how despite how with 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 Aoyama's admission it also it, it also it also he it also gave him like, like clarity in order to know that yeah I Izuku he 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 really doesn't care he he, he just wanted to be he he's, he's just glad that that Aoyama felt was comfortable enough with, with opening up to him so that in itself it also creates a, a a nice it also it also alleviated his fears as well and. Uh, and I will also say a Aoyama eventually does kind of Aoyama do does eventually kind of um, really like get his uh, Aoyama does I think I think does looking back on a certain chapter I think Aoyama did, 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 well, definitely does find like, like the route in order to go with with developing his quirk at least going off a certain chapter I, I recently read but yeah so it's it's going to be interesting to see where, where from Aoyama goes from here for sure um but, yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Elistra Crunchyroll. That might have been me. Signing off. Later, guys.